I just uh, check out a new place called Saigon Fusion just down the road. That was okay. Um, I mean, the prices were all right, but they're still definitely uh, up compared to what you pay locally. They had the, the foe there, or the far, they were charging uh, 75 for uh, far bow. And at the place I go to, even with the slightly inflated price that they're charging, it's 50 compared to uh, 75. So I'm getting 50% less on pay, just because I'm going to an authentic Vietnamese place. But some of their meals were reasonably priced. They were in a range about 75. And, uh, but to get to, also to get the cafe soda, I think that was about 30. Oh, maybe 40, no, maybe 35. That's right, 35. Which is not much, but uh, it's a lot when you compare, consider I pay 13 for mine in the morning. It might be a different type of drink, you know, to be fair to them. But Anyway, a couple of things happened. Uh, I uh, discovered on... Uh, on Monday night when I went out that the uh, booty bar you can actually choose the songs that are played and um, I had no idea that was the case because I hate a lot of that pop stuff that they play and uh, but you can just you know, the trouble is uh, again being a short-sighted guy it's a real pain because they've got the keyboard on the bar and then they've got the bloody uh, the feet, the feet is in the screen overhead and it's just too far, even though it's a big screen, TV screen, I can't, I still can't see the details, so I just can't, I can't choose my songs myself, I'd have to ask someone to do it for me. But the reason I found out is because there's a couple of Scottish guys there that were listening to some uh, old rock music, and I was wondering how they were doing it, and, uh, and that's, that's, that's what happened, they went up there and just uh, keyed it in themselves and chose what they wanted. So it's nice to know, but there's no signage to, to actually say that. So I've been going to that bar for weeks without any idea that I could actually do that myself. Just took, took a couple of expats to, to show me, basically. But the manager at the bar didn't even have that uh, mention. I'm, I'm heading off back to uh, uh, the Tham uh, 33, or 33 the Tham, which is that seafood restaurant I went to once and didn't have seafood but what they'll do this time I'll have the greens again because they were great they're about 40 and uh, again locally you pay 60 for the same meal actually for less 40 and more quantity here oh my god it's a nightmare walking around here really bad <laughs> uh, it's a real squeeze okay Squeeze something into every every cranny, nook and cranny around here. It's really got a little bit of vegetation here. God needs it. But yesterday uh, didn't have a great day because I had a bit of a hangover, and I went out and I uh, I went to oh that's right I went to the uh, the money exchanger, and the guy took forever to 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 collect to to, to count the five hundred dollars that I gave him to change. And he, he rejected one of the notes after all this. And uh, so I only was able to exchange 450. There's some in some scratch or something on one of the notes. They're really pedantic. And I had a quiet night at home, of course. I was just I thought the, the cold had reoccurred. I just can't get rid of this damn cold. I'm still still feeling a bit of a, a cough today. That's pissing me right off. So yeah, all in all not great. I don't remember having to walk this far to get to that street, but I, I must have. Maybe I should have gone the other way. I don't think so. I think I'm going the right direction here. But uh, yeah, here's the street here, but it's a little further, I remember. But it is. At least I can get myself like 15,000 Dong Saigon. I mean, that's amazing. Big bottle of Saigon for 15,000. That's a, and I get the greens, you know, just to work out and get some seafood it's not overly expensive because I think the, the, the squid's about a hundred thousand I can't do any lower than that so it's probably a huge quantity and I don't necessarily want that so we'll see how it goes I'll try again but it's a good restaurant no doubt about it and they charge Viet prices not tourist prices so here we are it's just just down here and past the market it's obviously a market day today So, uh, 
won't be long. And I'll be able to uh, see what it looks like. Uh, no, that's it, Bow the Inn. That's interesting. There's a place here that has the uh, pancakes, so that's a street store. So I don't know what they're like. But uh, it'd be a good area to live around. It's, uh, the food. Very good. Good, authentic part of town. Anyway, we'll just keep just around the corner here to the left. And uh, I'll get back to you when I've had a perusal of the um, of the menu. Look at the head on that beard, the cool boy. <laughs> That's why I have it out of the bottle. Much better. But at fifteen thousand dong, who cares? Yeah, you know, look at the uh, crispy, crispy squid. I hope you can you can hear. There's always there's a few big groups here today. And they're all men, I think. So it must be like a businessman's lunching place, I'd say. But anyway, I had the crispy squid. I've had the same um, uh, spinach and uh, and garlic. Uh, as a side dish because that's going to be very filling so the, the squid and that would be more than enough food i know that so it's good 70 000 it's not bad and the uh, the other uh the, the greens are going to be 40 but there's going to be a huge plate of them so you know, i just like this place good value you can have you, you're crazy not to have a beer at this price because i always pay about twice to two to three times that when i go to the bar so it's brilliant actually I couldn't get this at the um, at the local uh, Circle K for that price. It's actually cheaper than Circle K, so I think they just do it as a service. It's a brilliant place, and I walked one block too far that way to find, it, but I found all those food places, so I was pretty happy. So it's actually even faster getting back. Let's just go straight through the shortcut. So I should have gone down the first street rather than second. But then again, I discovered those other places, and it's just a fantastic food area around here. So um, let's see what sort of. I might check out a few of the hotels and see what's around this area. It could be a good place to stay. It's not as close to the bars, though, so it's the downside. But with grab, I've got, I've got um, 10, 20,000 uh, dong uh, vouchers. I, I could have come down here, it would have only cost 12, and I've, I've got a voucher for 10 trips anyway. But I figured, no, I'll walk. I've got to get the exercise anyway. Another thing I might do later, if I can, is go to, surf, is go to Big C. I might do the reverse way, go to Big C tomorrow, and then go out to a restaurant. See how we go. I might even check out the one nearby, the, the Saigon Fusion. It's not that bad. It just I wouldn't be eating pho there. Not from paying 50% more than I get in another place. Because that's really good pho. So why bother? I'm not going to tamper with that. There's a nice breeze though. And there's also, she put the fan on for me, which is nice. So quite pleasant up here. So I'll get back to my beer and I'll give you a rundown of what the food's like. I, I suspect it'll be pretty good. Well, I got through the uh, second meal. I had all the greens, and uh, yeah, the sauce was nice. Good dip, uh, the uh, the squid into not calamari because it was actually the whole squid. It wasn't just the greens, but um, it was quite good. It wasn't too chewy. A little bit in some parts, but overall pretty good. I can't say. But again, it's not it's not fair to compare compare it to calamari because it's a different batter and uh, a different part of the, the squid. So it might be a different type of squid actually, because it's smaller, it's like they just immerse the whole squid in the batter in this particular recipe. But uh, yeah, the beer's going down well, it's a really nice breeze. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I chose it again. It's, 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 it's a good, it's a good um, restaurant. The other one I wouldn't, want to go, wouldn't mind going back to is the uh, Mint Cafe, but that was really good as well. Uh, very nice style. Food was good, but I'll order more of it next time. Um, now that uh, I've been put off going back to what I usually like, because they wouldn't serve me, I mean, that's, that's one way of really pissing off a customer, I'm just ignoring them. I hate that. Um, you could at least say something like, you know, we'll just we are busy, wait, whatever. Nothing. Just nothing. But, you know, they're, they're running a business, they got, they've got plenty of people. They don't need some crappy old foreigner. Uh, so uh, yeah, they're, you, 
can see where they're coming from. But it's a shame because if I go to the local local version, they're going to be even worse. They charge even more because they, they know they're in tourist central. So rock and hard place. But this place, fantastic. They charge the right prices. Ridiculously cheap beer. For a lush like me, that is wonderful. It's nice up here on the balcony, you've got to say. I still like it. It's, it's not the... I mean, it's not going to make Vogue, Vogue uh, living as far as the actual design of the hotel is concerned, but practically, it ticks a lot of boxes. So that's what's more important. I'm not a millionaire. I can't afford to go crazy. I know. I like to get value for money. And, uh, again, they've, they've done well. So credit where credit's due, I reckon. And like I said, the girl was good. She, she put the fan on for me as soon as I arrived. So that's good customer service. The service has been good, and the food's good. And it's cheap. What's not to, not to like? Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you, or entertainment, or whatever. And uh, either give do that, or give me a thumbs up, or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.